Marshfield Community News is powered by Tiny and Sons Auto Glass. The Marshfield Boys and Girls Club just hosted their second annual Pickleball Fund Scramble to benefit the Marshfield Veterans Gift Fund. Ann Gillespie, the USA Pickleball Ambassador for Marshfield, gave us more on the event. What's happening is we're having a pickleball scramble, which means that all the people, the 37 people that signed up, their name goes into basically a computer and it, um, it scrambles their name, so it's just a fun event. Yes, yeah, so today we are, obviously we're raising money for the Marshfield Veterans Gift Fund, which 100% of the proceeds will go to the Marshfield Veterans. We have raffles um, and we have um, a couple of silent auction that are going today. The most fulfilling part about today is definitely raising money for our veterans who have done so much for us. And just to show our appreciation, that's the whole thing. It brings an appreciation of what we can do for our veterans, I think, every day. Pickleball was is a lifesaver for me. It's definitely a game changer and any opportunity that we can play and, and give back, we, I love to do that. It brings people together that maybe would never have played together before. It's all levels, um, beginners, intermediate and advanced, and that anybody can play with anybody. So I decided to come to the event today because uh, number one, I support the veterans. It's a great cause. And I did the tournament last year, the scramble, and it was a lot of fun, a beautiful day for it. For me, the most fulfilling part would be the camaraderie. I, a lot of the people that are playing today are people that I learned to play with. Ann Gillespie, she taught almost everybody that's out here. Uh, she's a wonderful pickleball ambassador for Marshfield, but more importantly, she does a lot for the town, including this fundraiser for the veterans. I think this uh, event today helps the community come together for a good cause, and I feel like that's what Marshfield is about. Marshfield Community News is powered by Tiny and Sons Autoglass.